My name is Jane. I'm here today to perform a full head to toe body assessment. I'm gonna work from the top and work my way to the bottom. And sometimes we're gonna stand and then we're gonna sit, we're gonna lay down. Is that gonna be okay? Yeah, sure. All right, so can you tell me your name and your date of birth? Um, Rolly Bastron Lima, February 10, 1981. Can you tell me what year is it right now? 2019. Okay, can you tell me who the president is? Mr. John Armstrong. Okay, so the patient is alert and oriented times four. I'm gonna check your vital signs and I'm gonna start with your blood pressure. Blood pressure is 110 over 78. Now I'm going to assess your pulse rate. Pulse rate is 64, and your radial pulse is on a uh, radial rhythm, and it is plus two, and I'm gonna check that voluntarily. I'm gonna check on your brachial pulse. Plus two, radial rhythm, I'm gonna check that voluntarily as well. And also your epitrochlear nodes, any pain? No. Okay, so epitrochlear nodes is non-palpable, and it is non-tender on the patient, I'm gonna check that voluntarily as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assess your head around your face area. So your head is uh, symmetrical to the body. It is round, normal to phallic, and you have a good control on your head. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assess your scalp. So your scalp is hard, it is smooth, no lesions, masses, or nodules are noted. Hair is evenly distributed, it is color black, no parasites are present. Let me know if you feel pain. Any pain? Okay, so temporal artery is non-tender on palpation and it is elastic. Can you open and close your mouth? Any pain? No. Okay, temporal mandibular joint has no pain, no redness or swelling as well, and um, no popping and cracking are heard. So can you close your eyes? Can you close it tight? Can you raise your eyebrows? Can you smile and show me your teeth? Can you frown? Can you block your cheek? Okay, so cranial nerve seven is intact. Now can you move your jaw side by side? Any pain? No. Cranial nerve five is intact. Let me know if you feel pain. No. Here? No. Okay, so frontal sinuses and um, frontal sinuses and maxillary sinuses is intact. No pain is noted, no evidence or stupidness on that one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assess on your eyes. So your eyes is symmetrical, um, eyelashes is evenly distributed, no droopings on the eyes, the, the eyebrows are present. Um, the upper and lower eyelids has no redness, no lesions or drainage as well. The sclera is white, conjunctiva is slightly pink, it's moist, tiny vessels are visible. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and assess the consensual direct response and the accommodation of your pupils. So just look straight ahead for me. And then just look at this object and follow. Okay, so the cranial nerve three is intact. Pupils constrict simultaneously and it, it also constrict and converge as the object move towards the nose. So the pupils are equal, round, reactive to light and accommodation. So just follow this object just with your eyes only. Cranial nerve three, four, and six are intact. The pupils are symmetrical. It is about four millimeters in size. It is round and flat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assess on your um, ears. 
So your ears, it is symmetrical, uh, the same in size and appearance. The pinna of your ear is parallel to the corner of the eye. Any pain? No. Okay, so auricle is non-tender. Mastoid process is easily palpable and it is warm. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assess the inner part of your ear. So the ear kennel is intact, no odor is noted, the tympanic membrane is intact as well. It is pearly gray, um, translucent, no bulging or retractions are noted on that one. So now I'm going to go ahead and go behind you and I'm going to have you cover one of your ear. I'm going to say two syllable word and then you repeat it back to me. Football? Okay, so cranial nerve 8 is intact. So now let's go ahead and go to your nose. So your nose is um, symmetrical. It is the same color as the rest of your face. No drainage, no lesions are noted on the outside, no redness as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assist the inside of your nose, which is your nasal mucosa and nasal septum. Okay, so nasal mucosa is just lightly pink, no ulcers or no drainage are noted. Your nasal septum is also intact, no, pul no polyps perforations are noted on that one as well. So I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna check the patency of your nose. So I'm gonna have you close your eyes and I'm gonna let you smell something and then just repeat it back to me what you smell. Alcohol pad? Okay, so cranial nerve one is intact. So now let's go ahead and go to your um, mouth area. So your lips is a little bit dry. It's um, slightly pink. So let's see your, can you open your mouth? Mucosa is slightly pink. It's moist, no ulcers are noted. The gums are slightly pink as well. No lesions, no ulcers are noted on that one. Patient has 32 teeth, stable fixation, smooth surfaces and edges. Can you stick your tongue out? Okay, cranial nerve 12 is intact. Tongue is slightly pink. Um, no ulcers are noted on that one. Can you open hard palate? It's pale, soft palate is pink. The floor of the mouth is shiny pink and it is intact. Can you stick your tongue out and say ah? Okay, so the tonsils are grade, grade two and your ovula is midline. It is symmetrical and it rises on phonation. Can you swallow for me? Okay, so cranial nerve nine and 10 is intact. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assess your cervical nodes, cervical lymph nodes. So this is your preauricular, posterior, postauricular, occipital, submental, submandibular, jugulodigastric, superficial cervical, deep cervical chain, posterior cervical, and your supraclavicular. Any pain on any of those? No. Okay, so cervical lymph nodes is non-palpable and it is also non-tender on the patient. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assess your neck area. Any pain? No. Okay, no tenderness on the neck, no masses, no lesions are noted. Trachea is midline, it is symmetrical and identifiable. I'm gonna check your carotid pulse bilaterally, one at a time. Okay, last two, uh, regular rhythm. So now I'm gonna have you um, turn your head. No jugular vein distension are noted and no pulsations as well. So can you push against my hand? Can you do it on the other side? Muscle strength of the neck is grade five. Can you turn your neck around? Full range of motion of the neck. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and assess your um, chest area. Any pain? No. No pain on the chest. Um, it is symmetrical, no masses, no lesions are noted. Um, it is uh, relaxed, non-labored breathing. And so now I'm gonna listen to your um, 
lung sound. One, one, two, two, three, three, you just place the same. Four, four, five, five. Okay? So long sounds are clear, no adventitious sounds is heard over inspiration and expiration. So now I'm going to have you stand up and I'm going to listen the posterior side of your long sounds. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Okay? So long sound is clear, no adventitious sound is heard over inspiration and expiration bilaterally. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assess the configuration of your thoracic cage. So take a deep breath and then inhale, exhale. Okay? So thoracic cage expansion is symmetrical. My thumb moves in a equal distance in both directions. Okay, so I'm gonna have you sit back down. I'm gonna listen to your heart sound this time. So first, I'm gonna listen to your aortic, second intercostal space, right sternal border. And then I'm gonna listen to your pulmonic, second intercostal space, left sternal border. Then I'm gonna listen to your herbs point on third intercostal space, left sternal border. Then I'm gonna listen to your tricuspid on the fourth inter intercostal space, left sternal border. Okay, so no murmurs are noted. So now I'm gonna listen to your apical pulse for full one minute. And this time it is on the fifth intercostal space, mid clavicular line. Your heart rate is 72, S1 and S2 are heard. Um, it is on a regular rhythm. So now, um, just sit straight, and then I'm gonna go ahead and assess your upper extremities. So, can you, okay, upper extremities, it is symmetrical. The skin is intact, no lesions are noted. Um, it is warm and dry. The color is appropriate on ethnicity. Skin turgor returns to normal immediately. Capillary refill is less than three. Any pain? No. Okay, no pain and deformities of the joints. Okay, so now I'm gonna have you extend and flex your elbow. Okay, full range of the elbow is performed without difficulty. Now can you put that and then turn it, rotate it back and forth, okay? Full range of motion of the shoulder is performed without difficulty. Now can you 
Can you like rotate your wrist? Any pain? No. Okay, full range of motion of the wrist is performed. So now I'm gonna have you squeeze my hand. Okay, and can you push against my hand? Okay, push against my hand. Okay, so muscle strength of the hand is grade five and the muscle strength of the arm is also grade five as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead. Can you do this? Okay, very good. So fine motor is intact. So now I'm gonna have you lay back down. I'm going to listen to your vowel sounds and I'm gonna listen to each quadrant for five minutes. Okay. So first I'm gonna listen to your right lower quadrant, your right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, left lower quadrant. Okay, so normal bowel, normal bowel sounds are heard times four. Any pain? No. Okay, no pain, no tenderness on the abdomen. It is evenly flat, um, it is soft, no masses, no, no lesions, no hernias are noted, no pulsations are noted as well. The umbilicus is centrally located, it is midline, and it is sunken. Now, can you tell me when was your last bowel movement? Uh, yesterday. Okay, uh, do you have any issues or changes on your urination lately? No. Okay, very good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to your lower extremities. Okay. So lower extremities is symmetrical. No hair is noted. No edema is noted as well. The skin is intact. Um, it is warm and dry, no lesions are noted on that one as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, can you raise your leg and can you put it out away from your body, into your body? And then put back, in, okay. So range of motion of the hips is performed without difficulty. Can you flex your knee towards to your chest and can you extend? Okay, very good. So. The full range of motion of the knee is performed without difficulty. Now can you rotate your ankle? Okay, full range of motion of the ankle. Can you push against my hand? Okay, the muscle strength of the leg is grade five. So I'm gonna go ahead and assess your, your feet. So the bottom of your feet it has no swelling, no lesions are noted. The two nails are intact, immobile, it is hard. Um, capillary refill is less than three. Now, can you, can you push against my hand? Okay. Muscle strength of the ankle and the feet is um, grade five. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, palpate your pulses on your lower extremities. So I'm gonna go ahead and do your pop little pulse. Okay, plus one, and I'm gonna check that bilaterally. And now I'm gonna do your posterior tibial. Plus two, regular rhythm. I'm gonna check that bilaterally as well, and then your po your dorsalis pedis plus two regular rhythm and I'm gonna check that bilaterally. So now I'm gonna have you sit down and I'm going to assess your quadriceps reflex. Okay, so. Good muscle contraction on the quadricep reflex, good knee extension, and um, it is plus two on that one. So um, that would conclude my physical assessment. Thank